Hello and welcome to the first installment of Graph's Food Review. This is going to be a series in which about once a decade I review a popularly demanded item. And today I have two items. One is Superior Junmai Ginjo, I don't speak Japanese, uh, sake. And the other, and once again, excuse me, I don't speak Japanese, but is the uh, Cheetos Flamin' Hot Roll. As you can see, uh, it got a little bit messed up in the drive home. But yeah, this is basically a sushi roll with Flaming Hot Cheetos uh, powdering it. Uh, I was going to see if it lists all the ingredients. Uh, not really. But anyway, uh, I'm going to open it up. And show the contents from the inside here. 510 calories if you're worried about that sort of thing. I'm screwing it up. This is all part of the experience of dining. Uh, so I obtained this sushi roll from the local grocery store Lunds and Byerleys. I know it's also available at Festival Foods in some locations. Uh, it's made by Hisho Sushi. All right. So here it is, unveiled. You can see it comes with, ooh, I almost lost part of the roll there because it's kind of precarious. You can see it comes with some ginger, wasabi, and soy sauce. I'll be trying out all of it. I don't have any chopsticks, unfortunately, so we're just going to be using a fork. So I'll start by just trying a piece. I'm going to pour myself some sake as well. I'll start just trying a piece on its own, and then we'll try some of the accoutrement to go with. I'm going to be enjoying my sake at room temperature. The bottle recommends serving it either chilled or at room temperature. And I chose to go with room temperature. And I didn't have to worry about chilling it. Got my little uh, totem shot glass here. All right. So I'll start with a piece of the Flaming Hot Cheeto roll. Here I go. So, I believe the roll is made up of imitation crab meat, uh, cream cheese, avocado, and obviously rice and Flaming Hot Cheeto. Uh, the first thing I notice is that it's really not very hot. That's something that I would be expecting more in a Flaming Hot Cheeto roll is some more kick to it. Instead, I'm really getting a lot of the avocado, and I'm not... Avocado's alright. I'm not super big on avocado personally, but it's just not my favorite. Um, so next I'll uh, add some ginger to a piece. And try that. It's a bit easier with chopsticks. Alright. Try that out. It's an improvement because it's, it's got just a little bit more flavor that way, you know. Right, 
with just the avocado flavor, like I was describing, it was a little bit bland, especially because there's not a lot of that Cheeto kick that I was hoping for. That soy sauce packet's a little messy here. Let's see if I can get it open without making too much of a mess of myself. I'm gonna try the soy sauce with it next. All right. I'm gonna actually just go throw this out. I'll be right back. All right. So let's try it with some soy sauce now. Once again, it's a little bit better, just because it has more flavor that way. For the same reasons, it was better with the ginger. Uh, next, I'll put some wasabi on there and try that out. And I'm sure, once again, the wasabi will probably overpower most of the rest of it. But we'll give it a shot. Yep, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. So really, the soy sauce, the ginger, and the wasabi are kind of crucial to enjoying this, in my opinion. Plain, it is a little bit bland, because the, the Cheeto flavor really doesn't come through a whole lot. You get more avocado flavor than anything. And I think that uh, overall, it's a fine sushi roll. It's probably... Uh, about what you'd expect for the price. Uh, the price of this was $5.55 US. Uh, like I said, this has been highly requested. I've been getting requests from Australia, France, California, Florida, all over the world. So, you know, I'm really just happy to be able to try this out and share with you. Oh, I was gonna also try this, the sake out. So I'll try that real quick. pretty good. Uh, I don't know a lot about sake. Tastes like rice wine. <laughs> yeah, uh, it goes great with the sushi. It's just a nice way to wash it all down. But yeah, uh, that'll do it for today. Uh, this has been Graf's Food Review. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, sometime next dec decade, I hope to be coming out with the next version of this food review. All right, thank you very much.